So once upon a time, there was this girl who loved her natural hair. In fact, she was quite obsessed with it. But she wanted a little length and maybe a little volume too. So she ran to all of her local stores and tried those gummy things and a little bit of hair oil, you know, see if we can make some shake. But unfortunately, the results were just taking too damn long. So she gave up all that BS and decided to try eye tips. It's me. I'm that girl. And here is my hair secret. So from my scalp to yours, keep watching. beautiful people and welcome back to my channel it's your girl BB with she's BB honey and we're back with another video so I know I look crazy right now and my hair looks absolutely crazy because I started detangling my hair so that I can take you guys through um, basically what I do with my eye tips it's basically all this hair on this head is mine because I bought it <laughs> But um, this is not 100% all my hair. I do have um, tips added in. <laughs> really? I thought that was your, your hair. Well, then I won't tell you what it is. <laughs> Probably each section about this small would have a tip connected to it to extend the length and volume of your hair. Now, this is my first time ever doing eye tips. So I didn't want to go crazy with the length. I've, I only chose 18 length. And that is basically when it's straightened, it is down to here on me. It's really just your natural hair, but better. It is, um, all of your natural hair is still out and it is just little strands added in for length and volume. This is how it looks. Just little tiny beads that connect the extension to your scalp. We'll definitely be talking more about eye tips and my overall review about them more throughout this video but let's go ahead and get into the wash so this is how my hair looks without any product at all right out of the um shower i do want to shout out really quick this brand that i just used to shampoo my hair naturalicious um i use their one step uh five in one clay treatment it's the shampoo conditioner deep conditioner detangler and leave-in conditioner in one now that is a new concept for me, but I was super excited to try it to see how it worked out on my curls. Um, I'm going to move on to apply step number two, which is their moisture infused styling cream. And then step number three is their oil. So I will apply these and I will probably apply a little bit of gel. And here's just a close up texture. You can already see that just minutes out of getting out of the shower, my hair tends to just frizz super easily. Whereas this hair is still um, very juicy and I'm not saying that it's better than me, but my hair just is a little bit more high maintenance. So that is all the big um, texture difference that you will see right off the gate. Now, as my hair dries, like I explained before, it, it, it tends to expand outwards where this kind of kind of doesn't. It just stays kind of wavy and kind of like a looser curl texture than my own. So I finished adding all of the products to my hair, including the styling moisturizing cream and then the gel on top of it. And I wanna do a 360 so you guys can check it out, how it looks when product is freshly added. And of course it's probably the best state it's in when it's freshly added, freshly detangled and super moisturized that's probably when i like my um hair and my tips best so next i'm going to show you guys what my hair looks like when it's completely dry usually i like to air dry my hair but today i'm going to diffuse it just to kind of speed up the process and show you guys the final result okay hair is completely dried i kind of get go a little bit of crazy with the gel especially when i have in my micro links just because I'm like so worried I'm like okay is it blended is it not blended so I kind of go crazy with the gel trying to like define my real curl so this oil should kind of soften it up give it some life back into it but this is what it looks like so again this this curl right here is my real 
natural hair, extension, real hair. You see how like it is just a little bit looser and mine, my hair kind of springs a little bit more if I pull this down. It, it barely, it, it barely springs slightly, but springs. This is of course the kinky curly texture and I felt like it matched my curl pattern the best. And getting into one of my pros, it is the closest matching texture that I've ever found in my whole entire life. When I was in middle school or early high school, maybe high school, early high school, I wanted clip-ins really bad and I got clip-ins and the lady swore that it was going to match my texture and it literally looked like 3B hair or something and I definitely have 4 hair, 4A hair probably. So, it didn't really work out well because you, you all know when natural hair dries, it's going to get more poofy and it's going to get more textured and it's going to grow and expand. So, you need to find something that kind of complements that texture. Otherwise, it's not going to work out well. A little bit more about the actual eye tip itself. It reminds me, I was telling my stylist this, it reminds me of the end of a shoelace. I don't know why, but it... I mean, it looks like the aglet. <laughs> Thank you, Phineas and Ferb. <laughs> and then you have to get a bead. I don't have any beads with me because my stylist purchased those. I will say that eye tips is really for anybody. Literally, anybody can try it. If your hair is less kinkier than mine, if you have no kinks at all, if your hair is bone straight, it's going to look fabulous on you. You can pick the texture that matches your hair. You can... Um, also, this is amazing because it's human hair, of course, so you can dye it, you can highlight, you can straighten it, literally anything you want to do with it, it will do. So since we're on a high note, let's just continue with all of the pros. Like I said, it was the closest to my natural texture ever, ever, and versatile styling, meaning I can put this in a ponytail, so just to show you guys. I could put it up like this. I could put it all the way up. I can put it all the way up. Um, I can wear it down. I can braid it. Another pro is that you're able to wash your hair often. Um, of course, with a lot of protective styles, you can't actually scrub your scalp, touch your scalp, or see your scalp often. So with this style, you definitely can do all of those things. You are taking care of your hair while adding the um, extra length. And volume another pro is that it's very very comfortable on your hair it's not heavy it doesn't feel heavy it doesn't feel uncomfortable um, when I first got it installed I was wondering like is it gonna feel too tight is it gonna pinch my scalp or anything no not at all and also I'm not tender-headed so if you are tender-headed might be different for you but for me I didn't really feel any pain at all it's not uncomfortable you can sleep <laughs> comfortably but with every good thing are some negatives as well. So let's talk about the pros. I mean, let's talk about the cons. So one of the cons I listed was also a pro. So for the pro side, I put that it matched my hair texture really well. But I'm afraid that for people that have kinkier hair than me, it might not work out as well. So even with my hair, I do have a looser curl texture. But even with it being as loose as it is, I still have cer certain days if I don't spend my time going through each section by section by section and if I want to be quick with it, it's not going to work out. If they come out with a new technology where they could make the extension expand like African American hair does, that would literally change the whole game. Okay, so my next con is you have to work to maintain this hair. Since all of your hair is out and it's not a protective style, you're working wor you're working to maintain your own hair. And if, like I said before, if you don't really like detangling your hair, you don't like taking care of your hair, you don't like um, putting it in a bonnet at night, um, it's not going to work out. You, you really do have to maintain it. Another con to it, they can come out. They do come out. They do fall out. And I don't have the tools myself to like reinstall anything. So if it comes out, I just have to hit up my stylist and um, ask for like a quick little touch up for them. But 
it's not too bad. Um, sometimes I go about six to eight weeks before I get my official touch up, but in between that time I might lose 10 to 12 strands. So it just depends. It's nothing to make or break it, but just to be aware they can come out. My last uh, a con, and this might not be a con for you in particular if your pockets are well maintained, um, but this is a con for a lot of people because it is a little bit more pricey than the normal hairstyle. But I mean, I don't know because you can get braids that are $300 or you can get, you can buy the micro links that are $300-ish. The price for the hair is pricey and the price for the install, depending on where you are located, is going to be pricey. I will share my stylist information if you do want to book with her. She's great. But I do want to say um, this hair is actually very, very good quality. I've straightened it probably twice now, maybe three times. The curl still holds up. I do want to say very minimal shedding with it. Very good quality. Like, I, I don't know. I like it. It didn't have a real weird funky smell to it. One thing I will say when you get eye tips, you want to buy the beads that go with the eye tips because if you don't it might not work like the little aglet piece might not fit with the bead and it might not work you might have to force it in which is going to be tight and it's going to pull on your real hair more so you definitely want to buy the beads that go with the tips okay and you can buy them on coco hair you can buy them together so i know i've covered a lot of general information about eye tips of course, um, consult your stylist or a stylist to see if this is a suitable style for your hair. Um, they can definitely let you know but better than I can. So please chat with them and, you know, I encourage everybody to try it out if it's something you're interested in. But that is it today for my video. If you all have any specific questions, leave them down in the comments section and I can make a part two maybe to this video. Um... Or if you guys want to see me try certain styles, let me know, and I can definitely make that happen. Thanks, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! What do you have, a copy? No, I didn't say nothing.